Hi. Now we've got this example here which is on arithmetic series or arithmetic progressions and uh, one that you might like to try. If so, just give you a moment to pause the video and read it through and come back when ready and I'll work through the solution so you can check it against mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. So let's just have a quick recap of this. We've got that uh, Shan played an adventure game. She scored points for each dragon that she captured. And the number of points that Shan scored for capturing each successive dragon formed an arithmetic sequence. Shan captured n dragons and the total number of points that she scored for capturing all n dragons was 8,500. Given that Shan scored 300 points for capturing her first dragon and then 700 points for capturing her nth dragon, we've got to find the value of n. Okay, so to do this, what I'd want to do first of all is just write out that she scored 300 points then for her first dragon. And then to this, she would have scored some more points for her second dragon and more points for her third dragon and so on. But what we're told is that if we sum all these terms up, when we get to her nth dragon, she scored 700 points. So let's just say that this is the nth term then, okay? That's the nth term and this clearly is the first term. We know what this total is going to come to. We're told that it comes to 8,500 points. So, when we're looking at the sum of an arithmetic series or sequence, we should be familiar with the formula for the sum of the first n terms, often abbreviated S with a little subscript n. It is given by n over 2, number of terms over 2, multiplied by the first term which we call a plus the last term which we call l and this is the formula that we need to apply then if we're doing this because what we've got then is therefore n over 2 okay n over 2 multiplied by the first term 300 plus the last term 700 is going to come to 8500 so that means that if we simplify this, 1,000 here divided by 2 is going to be 500. So we've got 500 n equals 8,500. And to get n, we obviously divide both sides by 500. And if we do that, 8,500 divided by 500 gives us n equaling 17. Remember, n has got to be a positive integer. You've got to have a whole number of terms here. So that's a valuable check in questions like this. Make sure that your answer you get is always an integer. Okay, well there you go. I hope you've been able to follow that uh, question.